Just wanted to do a video today on the Agile 52. Um, just a story with this is I started noticing this about two years ago when you started seeing all of those pretty much paid reviews from Securit that would just send it to popular YouTubers like Wrangler Star and all, all them. And I was really skeptical when I saw those because it was just, the stuff they were saying was just kind of, some of it was true, a lot of it was just bullshit. Like, this is not the death of the safe industry. And I'll go into that a little bit later. But, um, yeah, I was really hesitant about it. And I just, whenever I was looking to fit my options and my lifestyle, I kept coming back to these because I'm active duty military. So I move around two to four years, four years at the best. So um, I needed something that I could move around pretty easily, but would still secure my guns with a... That would basically stop a smash and grab. That's all I really care about. I know the safe's not going to stop organized burglars, but it's going to stop a smash and grab, and that's really all I care about. So to go into it, I'll just show you the stuff on top because I don't want you to see my code, but it is a six-digit code, which is great for security, but it's kind of annoying. I wish that you had the option to make a four-digit code. It would be a lot easier, but... There it is, I've got five long guns in there, two pistols, and a lot of mags, so. When I got this, uh, it was packaged extremely well. There was one minor kind of bend in the metal right there, but it still works perfectly. I don't really care about that, it still fulfills its purpose. Uh, it took about, probably about 30, 40 minutes to assemble on my own. Um, I definitely recommend if you're you know, older or um, you, you're not very muscular to do this with someone else because the door is pretty heavy and you do kind of have to like put your shoulder into it when you're assembling it. But besides that, it's really easy. Um, had no problems with that. Uh, but going back to this, um, yeah, I just, I saw all those reviews on YouTube that were just so biased because <laughs> Secure just sent them the safe and they were just ranting about how this is the end of the gun industry or the gun safe industry and that's not true at all um this safe or this cabinet is extremely expensive for what it is but it fit my lifestyle extremely well so for me it's worth it but if you're someone with a more permanent residence i definitely recommend just going with a normal safe you'll have a little bit of fire protection uh, it's going to be heavier to move um but i think you're getting a lot more for your money with that I do really like the cradle grid technology, and this does fit six guns, six long guns. You could fit a lot more handguns with the peg system, which I'll go into in a minute, but it can fit six long guns with the cradle grid technology. I've got five in there. I've got an FAL G1, so that's a massive rifle, so you're definitely not gonna have any problems unless you've got this really long hunting rifle or something like that. But I think it can hold something up to like 52 inches or more, I think 54, but that G1, I think, is 48 inches. I've got an SKS right there, Arsenal AK-74, Colt AR, an M1 carbine, and then the cradle grid, you've got those backs behind it. It comes with bungees. I didn't really want to use those, though. And um, this is a six-gun with the cradle grid, but if you need to fit more in there, you could probably fit about nine or ten guns in there if you just kind of bunched them up in there. Um, this is the same size as other companies try to say is like a 12 gun safe. So you can probably fit about nine or 10 guns in there if you really squished them in. And then my favorite feature is these pistol pegs. You have to buy them separately, but they've got these rubber coated pegs on there that you can fit nine mil, 380, 357 and up. It doesn't fit 22s, but most firearms it will fit. So it's rubber coated so it doesn't hurt that barrel. Got my high power right there, my Glock 19 right there. And those are expensive, but a really cool accessory. Um, definitely getting more of those. And I love how modular this thing is, so you can fit a lot of stuff in there. And then the shelving unit up there, this is another accessory I'd recommend because I've got one up there, but you can actually fit it behind the guns down there. So I'm probably gonna get a couple more of those for ammo and more magazines and stuff like that. So as you can see, I've got a lot of loaded magazines up there and you can see it fits behind the G1's muzzle brake. So again this fits my lifestyle very well. I'll probably buy another Agile 52. They make the 40 to stack on top but don't really have room for that up there. So 
yeah, great safe if you're moving around a lot or you're living in an apartment or an old house where you can't fit a traditional safe. Um, this has no fire protection whatsoever. Um, it's made of 14 gauge steel, which for a lot of the lower end safes is about what you're gonna get. And it really blows all the other security cabinets out of the water in terms of that steel level. Like the stack on ones, that feels like a tin can. Also actually uses bolts, unlike a lot of the other security cabinets that just have kind of weird hinge systems or literally just pieces of metal that lock it. Um, so it's got a very thick door. Um, again, I, this isn't going to stop professional burglars. I just wanted it to stop a smash and grab. And that's the last thing I'll mention is if you want this to have around the same level of protection as a traditional gun safe, you need to bolt it down. This is only about 110 pounds unloaded. And while it was unloaded and unbolted, you could literally open the door and it would tilt. So you could, two guys or one guy, if he's strong enough, could easily pick this up and just leave with it. Uh, with guns in it, it's going to be a lot heavier. You're going to need two guys, but you can still do it. Um, so you definitely need to bolt it down. It's got bolting um, holes on the back and the... Um, floor and the sides and the top if you want to add um, another Agile 52 or an Agile 40 on the top. But yeah, uh, Secure It, great company with a great product. I mean, it's expensive, fits my needs perfectly though. Um, so if you've got a similar lifestyle to me or if you just want something that's lightweight and well-made that you don't really care about fire protection, then um, give this a try. I think it's a great product.